We're live. All sergeants, would you please start your recordings? PC recording all set. All rolling. Backup is rolling. And good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing for the Committee on Technology. At this time, would all panelists please turn on the video for verification purposes. To minimize disruptions, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation, Chair Holden. We are ready to begin. Thank you, Sergeant. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am Council Member Robert Holden, Chair of the Council's Committee on Technology. Uh, we are here to hold a vote on a bill related to an assessment of 311 Services request intake map. The 311 system in New York City is a vital institution that serves uh, an essential piece of the communications between New Yorkers and our government. 311 is not just the largest system in the nation, it is also one of the primary ways residents communicate their needs to the city. Consequently, uh, it is a key source of information on issues within New York City. 311 is meant to be widely accessible in New York City and can be assessed, assessed uh, via phone, mobile app, or website 24 7. Looking at the th New York City 311 open data page, more than 2.7 million service requests were received over the past 12 months, and more than half of those requests coming from the New York City 311 mobile app and website in that time. Given the prevalence of 311 service requests from the mobile app and the website, it is important that these platforms work correctly. To this end, the New York City's Department of Information Technology and Telecommunications, also known as DOIT, entered a $24 million contract with IBM to upgrade the NYC 311 system. However, problems with New York City's 311 platform persists. On a particular note are the map and location capabilities utilized on the mobile app and the website. Uh, despite reported upgrades to the New York City 311 system, many New Yorkers still find difficulty when trying to accurately portray the locations of their service requests through the mobile app and website. And I, I have a lot of problems many times with, the, with that um, because it doesn't give you, you may not be in front of a, an address. The ability to, to accurately pin the location of a service request is crucial for a 311 as it allows the city to improve service delivery and understand service requests with more certainty. My bill, uh, it's intro no, number 1755A, would require do it to conduct an assessment of the interactive map accessible through 311 website or mobile uh, device application and used for the intake of 311 service requests and complaints to determine the feasibility of improving the location accuracy uh, of the 311 intake map. The department would also be required to submit a report of the results of the assessment to the council. On a personal note, I have spent the better part of 40 years as a civic president, a community board member, a community activist, uh, you know, getting the city to respond to the needs of its residents. Apart from calling a council member's office, 311 is the most direct way New Yorkers can interact with city government and get results. Tropical storm Isaias revealed many shortcomings in the 311 system, especially when reporting down trees. And even before the storm, there are areas of the city with no nearby addresses which pose challenges of reporting issues to 311. Technology should be leveraged to address government shortcomings and we must embrace modernization whenever possible. Uh, well, I thank DOIT Commissioner Jessica Tisch for her work on improving the 311 system. I believe that my bill, intro 1755, will make it even better. So I urge uh, my colleagues uh, to vote in favor of this bill. I am joined by Council Member Ulrich, Council Member Ballone, Council Member Yeager, and Council Member Lander. Uh, I would like to thank our excellent technology committee staff, Council Irene Bahofsky, Policy Analyst Charles Kim, Finance Analyst Florentine Kabor, uh, for their excellent work uh, on this hearing. Also, Michelle Lee for, uh, from the City Council um, Bill Drafting Division 
for her work in drafting this piece of legislation. And finally, my, my staff, Chief of Staff Daniel Carzina, uh, Communications Director Kevin Ryan, and Legislative Director Craig Caruana. Uh, I will now ask the clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Technology, Proposed Introduction 1755A, Chair Holden. Aye. Lander. I vote aye. Thank you. Valone. Aye. Jaeger. Aye. Thank you. One moment. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Introduction has been adopted by the committee. And Mr. Chair, I believe we are waiting for one more member. Okay, uh, can, uh, can we leave the uh, vote open uh, for uh, 10, 15 minutes? Is that all right? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Billy, can you call Councilmember Ulrich? Good morning, Councilmember Ulrich. Hi, good morning. The roll call vote in technology, proposed introduction 1755A. I vote aye. Thank you, sir. Final vote is now five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you, Mr. Chair. That is a full committee. Thank you. Uh, this hearing is adjourned.